Hello and welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm Jake and today we're going to be doing a video on how to make your very first simple animation. Now there's two methods that work great when you're trying to learn how to do an animation. There's the bouncing ball and then there's the kite method. Now I'm going to do both. I'm going to focus probably more on the kite method because that's actually one of my favorites. Uh, but I'll show you both and then you guys can choose which one you like the most. So let's hop into it. So I'm going to start and I have a blue ball here. And I'm going to make a little bit bigger brush. So let's think of the ball being thrown in. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so there's your, there's your first ball. Now remember right up here, this is your, these are your keyframes. If you haven't seen these before, what these are is they're these, whenever you see it black like this with the, or with a circle with the black filled in, that means you have something drawn in that keyframe. If you go in, you can either right click and insert a new keyframe, or you can also hit F6, or at least on Windows it's F6. I'm not sure on Apple. So now we're on our second frame. Now what we, have, what we want to do is we want to keep the ball moving. So the ball is being thrown in. And let's say the ball is being thrown in with some good force right off the bat. And it comes in and it's coming down. And this is right here what I'm doing is called the squash and stretch method. Right now I am stretching it. So we're going to whoop and give it like this little sense of motion. I'm gonna go in and add another keyframe. Now remember up here, if you've seen this before, this is the onion skin. So onion skin helps you see what your frames are before and after. The green is gonna be after and the blue is before. I'm gonna focus on bef all the frames before it. Erase this. Now it's gonna start slowing down. Let's say right here is about where the ground is gonna be. It's gonna go down, it's gonna gonna hit right about now all right so right here is where we're gonna have it hit the ground as you can see I'm not doing it perfect but I'm just doing this quick to show you guys and then it's gonna when it hits it's going to squash It's gonna make it its way back up. The great thing about this method is it's it's pretty quick um, to kind of show you the idea. So now the ball's coming up. We'll just take a quick look at how it looks right now. Now I overdid the stretch right here. So I'm gonna remember if you're adding, if you're doing, if you were to bounce a ball, the ball doesn't bounce consistently so it's not going to be to the same height so let's see where that first one was so it's right here so if we think about it let's add so we have this little idea here and it has an apex and each apex is going to be a little bit shorter every single time so you're just going to keep animating on that line so let's see we're gonna go up to frame 60 let's say
Now, as you can see, there's a little bit less stretching now because if you remember, the ball was thrown in really hard and when it hit the ground, it lost some of its energy. So now it's gonna come up here. And it's gonna look like a normal ball right at the top. And as you're coming down, you're still gonna have some stretching. And the idea of the stretch method, you know, squashing and stretching is to convey motion. I just realized I wasn't deleting any of these other. balls from the previous motion there we go we're gonna keep going F6 Now it's going to hang around here for just a second and start to squash. And so on and so forth. So let's just kind of see what we have so far. I'm going to hit the little repeat here and this will kind of help me this will just kind of repeat the section that you choose, and we'll play it. Not perfect, but you guys get the idea. So like I said, this one's really good for showing um, the idea of squashing and stretching, um, sense of motion, and all that kind of stuff. It's, it works great for that. I learned the, probably the best way when I was learning squashing and stretching through this method. So the next method we're gonna work on right now is the kite method. Now this one's really good for teaching you how to use the onion skin really well. This is what I used when I was first learning how to use the onion skin and how to do frame by frame really well. So let's hop into that now. So we're gonna start off, let's say here's our kite. You can go really simple with this. And what I like to do if I'm doing something like this, give your, make yourself like a path or something. So. The kite starts here, it's gonna go down and up, maybe around and off the screen there. And we'll do this around you know, 60 frames. This will be pretty quick. All right, so actually I'm gonna hit F7 this time. And what this does is it actually makes a blank keyframe. Um, oh, I have the layers backwards right now so this is the there we go and if you want to make it kind of like a um, kind of like more of a guide you can turn on transparency and make it a little bit easier to see and we're gonna lock that up so I don't accidentally keep clicking on it And like I was saying, hit F7 this time, and this gives you a blank keyframe. As you can see, the ones have the ones that have been drawn on have a black dot, and the one that hasn't been drawn in is completely blank. So now we're just gonna go in and animate everything. Right now, let's say it's moving a little bit slower. So its path isn't gonna change dramatically very quickly. So we have our string there. Let's remember the string. The reason I like this one too is it helps you learn about like kind of like physics and stuff like that. 
of how something would move um, in nature or you know if if you have like hair if you're drawing hair in an animation the hair's not gonna completely move with the head every single time it's gonna come down and maybe follow just a little bit and then bounce back into place so that's how it works with this uh, this little ribbon that's f falling behind the kite it's not gonna completely follow the exact path right away with it see how it's still kind of coming around and then let's say right about here it picks up some some good speed so it's gonna kind of squash a little bit And you're just gonna keep animating. And picked up speed, so kind of hit its apex there. So then we're gonna swoop up here. It's really speeding up. And say it starts to slow down again. About here. And it gets normal triangle shape back. Now, if you don't know, and you've never used a program like this before, um, you can hit Control Z to, to undo what you've been working on. Or uh, right now, I'm using my my Wacom, which actually has little hot keys on it, and I can just hit one of the buttons, and it undoes it as well. So if you see that little undo button up in the corner, or the little word that says undo, that means I hit it with my Wacom. Uh, sometimes I find it a little easier that way, but just how my brain is. Sometimes I want to put push it on the keyboard and sometimes I want to push it on my Wacom. And let's say it picks up speed again because it's gonna come down. Just kind of see how we got right now. Yeah, I like that. As you can see, I'm kind of doing like a, a swooping motion even with, with my, um, when you're doing your squatches and stretches, it doesn't have to be in a completely constant uh, form. Like this one, it's, it's squishing and it's turning at the same time. So it's kind of got like this little weird shape to it, almost like a crescent. And that's all right. That's actually better. Uh, it gives it a really good sense of motion. It gives it a really good, um, you know, cartoony vibe. Uh, very like um, Looney Tunes or something like that. And we're almost done here. it slows down again just a little bit and 
and picks up speed one more time just to leave the screen. And just get it till it is off the screen. Remove these extra frames I don't need. So you're gonna right click, remove frames. And let's put that repeat back on and let's see how it looks. It looks like I have like a pause right here. So I must have kept two of the same frame so let's remove clear keyframe and then remove frames and that should make it a bit smoother now turn this off and there we go we got our kite so like I said, I like this method just because it's really freeing to do um, it's not perfect I just did a really quick simple um, example of how to do it you can spend a long time doing it if you do send me that because i would love to see that send it to naughty egg draw or uh, naughty egg 20 at gmail.com or you can send it to our facebook page make sure you go to the naughty egg draw facebook page if you do anything like this make sure you post it on there that would be awesome and yeah that's pretty much it guys it's nice and simple there's two methods you can use to learn how to do your very first very simple uh, sets of animations and like always keep drawing and until next time I Hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to click on that sub button over here on the left or down below If you want to enjoy some other videos of mine make sure you click on them over here on the right Also, make sure you throw a comment and a thumbs up down below and like always keep drawing and until next time